Hello people, so today here I am again with a new video. This is, uh, today this is on lumpy skin disease, which is a very important disease, you all must know this. So India notified to OIE that the outbreak of uh, this disease was in August. There were three cases and all the three cases were from Odisha. The distribution of the disease. In 1988, LSDV, that is Lumpy Skin Disease Virus, was reported for the first time from cattle in Egypt. Lumpy skin disease is widespread and endemic throughout Africa, excluding Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, and Lib Libya. Currently, there is an increased risk of lumpy skin disease reaching Central Asia, Western Europe, and Central East Asia. It's very easy. <laughs> Etiology. So, etiology is lumpy skin disease is caused by lumpy skin disease virus that is also known as Meatling virus. Uh, it belongs to Capri pox virus genus and pox baby farm. Antigenically, it is closely related to the viruses of sheep and goat pox because of the genus Capri pox uh, virus. The shape of the virus is brick shaped. The average size is 294 plus minus 20 nm in length and 262 plus minus 22 nm in width. The diagram shows the shape, it is brick shape, so that is important. Host specificity. Host specificity is again very important because it is mainly occurring in cattle. So LSDV is highly host specific and causes diseases only in cattle. Bos bubalis, Bos indicus, uh, uh, sorry, Bos indicus and Bos taurus, and water buffalo, Bubalis bubalis. The morbidity rate is significantly lower in buffalo, 1.6%, than in cattle, that is 30.8%. There is evidence from a study in Ethiopia of differential breed susceptibility to LSD. So, Holston Friesian and uh, uh, Crossbridge cattle are exhibiting more morbidity and mortality due to LSD when compared with local Zulu cattle. LSD has not been reported in sheep, uh, sheep and goats even when kept in a close contact with infected cattle. Can the lumpy skin disease virus spread to humans? It is not a zoonotic disease, so it is not spreading to humans. Very easy. Now transmission. Transmission is uh, mainly by two insects. One is uh, the top picture, that is obviously a mosquito, Aedes aegypti, and below this is the stable fly, Tomoxis calciptrans. Recently exploded ticks are suspected to have a role in the transmission of LSDV in cattle. Direct contact between cattle or contact through milking procedures were also reported as potential transmission modes. This is the schematic uh, illustration of the spread of LSDV. So how short distance spread occur is by infected sick, infected mosquito, and syringe, and uh, infected flies too, obviously. And then long distance spread occurs when it is uh, transported. Infected cattle is transported. Cool. Then pathogen. Lumpy skin disease is a systemic disease with cell associated viremia preceding the appearance of lesions and marked lymphedema patterns. Blood monocytes are important in spreading virus to secondary sites of infection like most members of the subfamily Cordopox viridae, Capripox viruses exhibit a distinct tropism for keratinocytes. Okay? Skin lesions are characterized by hyperplasia, that is, increase in number of cells and ballooning degeneration of keratinocytes because there is a distinct tropism for keratinocytes. Uh, of the stratum spinosum layer, formation of epidermal microvesicles and infiltration of inflammatory cells into the derm. Epidermal microvesicles then coalesce into larger vesicles that quickly ulcerate. Then stages of LSD. The first stage. This is very briefly explained. So the first stage is swelling near the foreleg. You see that is because it affects the lymph 
gland that is near like sub scapular and femoral uh, lymph gland is mainly affected so swelling is seen near the foreleg second stage formation of subquid nodule growth mostly nodule formation in the head eye mandible limbs other than also genitalia in this stage antihistamines and penicillin group drug works well like protein penicillin is uh, used amoxicillin is used so third stage is uh, pus formation in the nodular region and swelling dry dichrysocin that contains procaine penicillin and antiseptic dressing works well in this stage now these are very important clinical signs so the first is incubation period post infection is 4 to 14 days second approximately a week uh, for approximately a week there is a period of high fever that is more than 40.50 degrees c lymph nodes like subscapular and prefemoral lymph nodes as i already told you become enlarged and are easily palpable highly characteristic round firm nodules of 1 to 5 cm in diameter are seen in the skin these nodules can can be found all over the body the predilection sites are skin of the head neck genitalia perineum udder and limbs the figure i will show you nodules are also seen in the mucous membrane of oral nasal and genital tract necrotic plates of the oral and nasal mucous membranes called purulent and mucopurulent that is pus and mucus and pus discharge and excessive salivation all layers of the skin subcutaneous tissue and sometimes even the underlying muscles are involved in these nodules marked reduction in milk yield in lactating animals is seen depression anorexia and emaciation these are common symptoms uh, common signs these are also seen in this disease typically ulceration of the center of the lesion is seen and the scab forms on the top uh then these are the pictures so left side you can see uh, skin lesions in the perineum and genitalia on the right side it is showing the lesions in the head and neck these are the left side left upper one you can see in the other and feet the severe case of allergy with skin nodules and in the right side i was talking about the uh, ulceration before the scar formation so near this in this circular thing you can see that is the ulceration that is appearing so below this is uh, ulcerative lesions in the muscle and leg these are internal allergy lesions so the left one is ulcerative lesions in the oral cavity the right one is cross section of the skin le- uh, skin lesion then uh, the lower one we can see in post mortem is allergy lesions in the trachea and the right one is in the gall gall bladder so some other complications are sometimes in one or both eyes painful ulcerative lesions develop leading to blindness in worst cases the diagram is showing that kind of a thing ulcerative lesions near the eyes and conjunctivitis so yeah then complications by secondary bacterial infections may be seen in the skin lesions of the limbs and on top of the joints which may lead to deep subcut infections in the limbs so uh, these secondary bacterial infections are the main reason why we use antibiotic treatment after that pneumonia and or, or mastitis may be caused by the virus itself or secondary bacterial infection since it is for, uh, it has a predilection site near the udder so mastitis can occur microscopic lesions very vascular collections of neutrophils lymphocytes macrophages plasma cells and proliferating fibroblasts occur eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies in fibroblasts macrophages and keratinocytes are seen in dermis there is inflammatory reaction diagnosis so first is obviously the clinical diagnosis that is usually done by seeing the clinical signs that i discussed and symptoms and taking the history so yeah clinical diagnosis goes by that 
any travel history um, can uh, cure or can, uh, can, can give an indication towards this. And clinical signs are obviously what I discussed. For confirmation, we have to take samples for collection of the specimen. Collect blood in EDTA tubes and whole blood for serum samples. Saliva or nasal swabs and skin lesions are tapped for laboratory testing. In the case of se several animals showing clinical signs, samples from approximately five animals should be sufficient for diagnosis. Collect skin lesions, duplicate samples by excision or biopsy in, skin, uh, in saline and formalin. Laboratory diagnosis. So, for confirmatory diagnosis and identification of the agent, three processes are used. One is polymerase chain reaction, the second is virus isolation, and third is electron microscopy. So, PCR, that is the least expensive and quickest method for detection of LSD leak, skin nodules and scabs, saliva, nasal secretions, and blood are suitable like samples for PCR detection of LSD leak. Virus isolation followed by PCR to confirm the virus identity takes longer and is more expensive but has the advantage of demonstrating the presence of live virus in the sample. Electron microscopy can be used to identify the classic box of virus variant but cannot differentiate the genus or species level. That can be done with PCR and virus isolation. So yeah, then serological test. It is not possible to distinguish the three viruses in the capital pox virus genus, peak pox virus, good pox virus, and LSD using serological techniques. Virus neutralization, this is a very important technique that is usually used by research people in research papers, all that. So, like a student thing that is very important, like mostly used. So, this is currently the gold standard test for detection of antibodies based against viruses. Neutralization indices uh, that is more than or equal to 1.5 are considered positive for LSDV. Western blot, uh, Western blot can also be Western blot, um, highly sensitive and specific, but expensive and difficult to perform. Capricorn virus antibody, uh, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, uh, that is ELISA. New commercial kits for detection of Capricorn virus antibodies are currently being developed and released on the market, but not that much in use. Okay. So differential diagnosis is very important since skin lesions are involved. So, pseudo lumpy skin disease or bovine herpes mammalitis, dermal, uh, that is caused by bovine herpes virus 2. So, dermal lesions may look like those caused by LSDV but are more superficial and the course of the disease is shorter and less severe. The disease can be ruled out by detecting LSDV by PCR. Insect bites, urticaria, and photosensitization. Dermal lesions may look like those by LSGV but are more superficial and the course of the disease is shorter and less severe, just like we saw in pseudo skin disease. And it can again be confirmed by PCR. Pseudo cowpox, parapox virus. Lesions occur only on the cyst and other the disease can be ruled out by detecting LSGV by PCR. Dermatophilosis. Early ringworm lesions, more superficial, clearly distinct non ulcerative surface structure of the ringworm lesion. Demodicosis, that is caused by demodex demo, mite. So obviously, uh, like it can be ruled out by seeing skin scrapings and mites can be seen there. So dermal lesions are predominantly over withers, neck, back and flanks, often with alopecia present. And the disease can be ruled out by detection of mites using skin. Bovine papulous traumatitis that is caused by parapox virus. Lesions occur only in the mucous membrane of the mouth. The disease can be ruled out again by PCR testing. Desnoid theosis. theosis. Uh, lesions um, 
often uh, appear in scleral conjunctiva and dermal lesions may exhibit alopecia with thick and wrinkled skin. Uh, it is again ruled out by PCR, onchocerciasis, dermal lesions most likely at ventral midline. The disease can be ruled out by PCR. Treatment that um, we usually prefer is anti inflammatory drug like clinexine, hydrochloride, the dose rate 10 to 15 ml for large animal, antibiotic like amoxicillin at the dose, dose rate 3 to 4 gram total, or 10 to 12 milligram per kg body weight. Antihistaminic 10 ml daily for 3 days, levamisole at the dose rate 7 to 8 ml. Subcut for immunomodulation, herbal spray like tropical ointment with antibiotics. This is the lesion and how treatment is performed. Prevention. Pre uh, prevention can be done uh, by keeping the animal in isolation, the infected animal in isolation, and uh, checking on the travel of the uh, animal. Then prophylactic vaccination in the you know prone areas is very important. So yeah, prophylactic va vaccination of the entire cattle population carried out well in advance in at-risk areas. Movements of cattle inside the country and across borders should be strictly controlled or totally banned. Authorized cattle movements should be accompanied by a veterinary certificate, including all the data concerning the animal regions and animal health guarantee. In affected villages, cattle herds should be kept from grazing, you know, together grazing, community grazing, uh, if possible, without animal welfare issues. Movements of vaccinated animals can be allowed within a restricted zone within a country after it has been established that full immunity has been provided by a vaccine with proven efficacy 28 days after vaccination. Cattle should be treated regularly with insect repellent. To minimize the risk of vector transmission of the disease, this measure cannot fully prevent transmission but may reduce the risk. The, uh, this is usually the common line of, like, common way of prevention of diseases that are caused by uh, arthropods, vectors, or that are called communicable diseases. So these are very important prevention me uh, measures. Okay, so these are the references I used. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please do like the video and uh, subscribe my channel and share it with your people. So thank you, thanks for watching.